Welcome to the 3-minute guide to Magma Heroic. Magma will for most people be the first encounter in Blackwing Descent, and he consists of two faces and a burn face. When you enter the room, you want to position the raid like this, with range alternating the position between blue and purple marker throughout the fight. Throughout the fight, Magma will have three major abilities that will affect the entire raid. Lava Spew is a raid-wide AoE that has a 22 second cooldown and deals big damage. To the best of your ability, coordinate raid cooldowns like Barrier and Aura Mastery to counter these whenever possible. Blazing Inferno spawns a Meteor Projectile on the ground, move out of it to avoid taking damage and getting stunned. Once it hits the ground, a Blazing Bone Construct will spawn. Tank pull to the boss and melee swap to it while cleaving the boss. At 20% HP, they'll start casting a long cast called Armageddon, kill it before the cast goes off. He also casts Pillar of Flame that deals a lot of damage and knocks you back if you get hit, just move out. After the cast, a bunch of Lava Parasites that have a rather low health pool will spawn. There are a few ways to deal with them, but the absolute best strategy is to have a Frost Death Knight with the Chills Blame talent gather them all up at range while kiting them. As a DK, you want to swap to Blood Presence while spamming Holding Blasts and Death Coils in order to proc your Runic Empowerment. Kite the worms in an 8 pattern in order to drag them closer to the melee to allow some passive cleave and spreading of diseases. Hunters will want to keep frost traps down to help with the kiting, and if you pull aggro for whatever reason, don't get meleeed by the parasites as they will infest you and leave a nasty dot that pulses nearby targets. Range don't DPS the worms unless you have to stop damaging the boss. Around every 2 minute mark, the boss will cast massive crash, smashing its entire body into one half of the room. Move out of it, but if you get hit, it's not the end of the world. You take a decent amount of damage and get stunned. After he's down, two players will need to jump on his back. You get an extra action ability, use it on the spike on the ground at the same time as the other person to pin him to the spike. While down, he'll take 100% extra damage. As a tank, you have to deal with Mangle, where you get eaten and take a big amount of damage. Make sure to always have a strong defensive up at this point. As a tank, you can hit the exposed head, which is very important for tanks like Blood Decay and Fell Druids that get their active mitigation through dealing damage. Once out of the mouth, you get a 50% armor debuff during progression, tank swap at this point, but will probably not be needed once you get some gear. The range groups should be moving between the two markers in the room as the Pillar of Flames and Blazing Inferno spawn. There's potential for a strat where you only leave one person outside of melee to deal with the spawns in 10-man and two people in 25-man as he prefers people at ranged. During progression, you want to time your second exposed phase with Magma being as close to 30% HP as possible. This will be around the 4 minute mark, so save your 3 minute cooldowns for this point if you pop them at pull. Stop DPSing at 35% if required, getting down, pop Bloodlust, and nuke. In phase 2, you'll have the addition of Shadow Breath dealing AoE splash damage on the raid. Spread out 5 yards, pop defensives and raid cooldowns to burn down the boss. And that's how you kill Magma Heroic. Subscribe for more 3 minute guides. That's all for now, thank you very much for watching, until next time.